remember it's colder than average and get those real layers out and on because as Michael is about to tell us it's gonna get even colder now meteorologist Michael Page with your sky tracker forecast who needs me? That sums it up pretty well. It's cold. 27 right now in Burlington. Mostly cloudy skies. Lauren says she needs me, so there's at least one in that camp. Westerly wind turning to a southerly wind now tonight. And this is very important because this is what's going to eventually crank back in some lake effect over the next 24 hours or so. Right now, it's all about this disturbance moving through, though. Bringing in thickening clouds and a little batch of snow through central New York. Again, this is not the lake effect. But it's going to get here in Vermont and New Hampshire. The air is pretty dry around these parts, though, so it's going to take a while. And once it does start snowing, this isn't a big deal. A couple of flakes here and there, maybe some minor accumulation. The lake effect tomorrow will be more impactful for portions of our region. Tonight, though, look what happens to the temperatures. Despite the thickening clouds, we still get down in the teens and low 20s, even in the Champlain Valley, well below average. Here's Future Tracker tonight showing us the increase in clouds. The snow showers coming through, too, but they're kind of pithy. Not a lot going on here. Still could be a minor accumulation, and it doesn't take much to create some slick roads for the morning commute, as we saw today. So with some minor accumulation, there could be some slick spots, a little slow going. But during the afternoon, most of us see a return to more sunshine in Vermont and New Hampshire. Meanwhile, northern New York gets slapped with another batch of lake effect snow. This includes portions of the Tri Lakes, so right around Tupper Lake, St. Lawrence County, southern Franklin County. This is where the lake effect snow machine will be cranking tomorrow, and there will be some accumulation. For that reason, we have a lake effect snow advisory for southern Franklin County, Tupper Lake, again, that includes you. St. Lawrence County, back towards the lake itself, it's more of a warning, and that's because that's where most of the snow will be. So again, tonight, most just seeing maybe a dusting to an inch or two. That's about it in this lighter shade of blue. Not a big deal. Maybe some two to four inch amounts in the highest terrain. We're talking the highest peaks in the greens, for example. And then once you get closer to that band, four to eight, very isolated, but around Tupper Lake tomorrow, Route 3, there could be some brief whiteout conditions during the afternoon, over eight inches and maybe even over a foot again in portions of St. Lawrence County and more of the same near Buffalo. Already 60 inches on the ground there. Another one to two feet, it's a possibility. Crazy stuff. So temperatures tomorrow around 32. It's cold. Maybe some snow showers in the morning. Breezy, chilly, and brighter during the afternoon hours. A brisk wind, too. It will make it feel colder than the actual air temperatures. Friday will be colder still. Highs only in the 20s. But then we start to see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. This cold starts to relent slowly as we get towards the second half of the weekend into next week. A little slice of warmth heading our way. Temperatures will be back into the 50s, and we'll just put all this cold behind us at least for now. It'll be back. So, 20s on Friday after a little bit of snow tomorrow. And again, that lake effect, a little feisty around the Adirondacks. Rain, 50s. Next week, quiet heading into Thanksgiving. MyChamplainValley.com has more on your forecast, including regional forecast videos. It's always nice to see that bright sunshine, though. It will be here. Not helpful tomorrow, though. Again, it's ineffective sunshine, unfortunately, Ooh, this week. Ineffective <laughs> sunshine. Psychologically, oh, it's good. Psychologically, yes. Right. It helps with sad. All right. Yeah. <laughs>